What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you guys are new here. My name is Keaton and today I'm obviously going to be reviewing and giving you guys a first impression of how I feel about my new Kylie skincare. So if you guys are new here and you guys want to stick around, don't forget to subscribe because it would mean so, so much to me. I know every YouTuber says that, but genuinely it would mean so much if you guys would subscribe. I upload every Wednesday and Friday on this channel, but I upload on all my other social media every single day, so you guys can always follow me on Instagram and Twitter, but enough of my spiel. I'm literally so excited to try these products that you guys don't understand. I was waiting on my laptop the second it dropped, and I was like, I have to buy this. I bought it and just got on with my day so literally still have the products just in the box i haven't even felt them yet because i was waiting to kind of give you guys like packaging overview you know like i'm literally jeffree star you know what i'm saying like yeah i just felt like i wanted to give you guys the real tea like i said i ordered this with my own money so i am a huge huge kylie fan and i am a huge kardashian fan in general which i know everyone is not but that is why I feel like I just really want to try the product out for myself. I'm not the type of person where if this is genuinely not it, then I'm not going to tell you guys to buy it. I spent $133 on this stuff. Like, I'm not going to tell you guys to buy it if it's not good. I do want to say a quick disclaimer, though, that this is going to be different for everyone's skin. Everyone's skin is different. Some people's skin is really sensitive, and some people's skin can take a lot. Some people have oily skin, some people have dry skin, so this is not going to work for every single skin type. It is very simple, um, but I just wanted to say that because I feel like a lot of people have different opinions, and so my skin just might be different than yours. I will tell you guys how my skin is, but sorry, I'm too excited. I am already opening it up, so this is the packaging. Super cute. It actually does feel pretty heavy. One thing I do like about all the packaging is that it is all matte, so I really, really love the matte feel I feel like glossy nowadays just looks cheap um, I don't know why I think it used to be the other way around oh I can't get it out of the box okay so what I'm gonna do is use each of the products in um, order of how she used them so she used them with the um, foaming face wash the walnut scrub she put the toner then she did the moisturizer and then she did um, I think she did serum and then she did eye cream, which I think you could genuinely do like one day just the serum and then the eye cream or just the face cream and then the eye cream. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to try them all out because that's what we're here for. So the only thing that I have with this is that this face wash is not necessarily makeup removing. This face wash is really just supposed to cleanse your skin and I normally use a face wash after I already take my makeup off. So I use an oil that breaks my makeup down and then I use a face wash after because you still always have like a rim, a remnants, is that the word, um, of makeup still underneath. Even though you've already scrubbed all your makeup off, you still always have it. So I always go in with another face wash after. So what I am going to do is take my makeup off with the regular oil that I use to take my makeup off with. And nowhere, anywhere did she use this to take a full face of makeup off. I genuinely don't think that this is what the facial, the foaming face wash is supposed to do. And it's infused with ultra nourishing kiwi seed oil packed with vitamin C and E to help maintain moisture and improve elasticity. This gentle formula cleanses the skin by helping to, helping to remove dirt, oil, and makeup for a fresh, bright complexion. So it is not supposed to be used to take off a full face of makeup. It says to apply to wet skin and gently massage in circular motions. Apply to wet skin. So I'm going to take my makeup off first and then I'm going to go in with that and then we're going to move on. In case you guys care, I'm going to include me taking my makeup off. So I am using, I honestly, I wish I knew the brand of this. It says DHC. It is a facial cleanser, deep cleansing oil in case any of you guys are interested. Um, this literally is just an oil that I use to take my, my makeup off. I do two pumps. And then I put it along my face like so, all along, and it literally just breaks down all of it. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it literally is melting. Look at right here. It's melting my skin away. I use my Vanity Planet, like exfoliating, whatever this is. I forget the name of it. I can link it down below. Um, it's my favorite, and it is just a silicone bristle, so it takes off my makeup. And it is so easy to clean because it's not like a brush. 
All right, so my makeup is off. Um, don't mind the fact that I have a distinct dark line under here. I have no spray tan on my face, so my face is gonna be really pale. So what I'm gonna do is try this. It says to use one pump um, on wet skin, so I'm gonna try this out. I'm so excited, I don't know why. Um, okay, so hold on, let me wet my face a little bit. I don't know why, I just towel dried it, but um, I kind of wanted, I kind of wanted more than one pump, okay. It smells clean. I don't know why I'm smelling it. Oh, it is really way foamier than I thought. I probably didn't need to add the second one in there. When this, when she says foaming face wash, like she means it. Um, it's very light. It's very gentle. Ooh. Um, I like it. It smells very clean and it's very, very soft. It's very foamy. I probably only did need one pump. I didn't need to. So that's good because that means that it will last me a little bit longer. And if I were to use two, um, it is very, very smooth. Like it feels like butter legitimately. Um, it's really, really soft. I want to see if any of my makeup does come off in the sink with it. Okay, so I actually did like that. I don't mind this. I really do like it. It's very soft, very good foaming. I feel like this is definitely something I would use when I was waking up in the morning. This is more of like a morning face wash um, for sure. I think I would wake up and cleanse my face from sleeping with this. This is just a very good cleanser for any excess oil, dirt, like she said. Like if you were going to sleep or waking up or maybe you have like a little bit of a remnants. I don't know if this is full on like deep pore cleansing scrub, if that makes sense. I think it's definitely really good for just getting anything left over. Now we're gonna try the walnut scrub. Um, I need to ugh, get out of the packaging. So again, match, this is walnut scrub, exfoliating. It says our gently and effective walnut scrub, apply to wet skin. Chilly massage and circular motion. So it is supposed to uh, buff away any dead skin cells and reveal a soft and radiant complexion. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna wet my skin again. Oh, these bother me so much because I have fake nails and it's just like, ugh. All right, I'm gonna try this walnut scrub. I'm not gonna do too much. Because with an exfoliant, that was even probably too much. I don't know if you guys, can you see that? I don't know, that's how much I'm using. That looks like too much. I'm gonna set half of it down and try and see how much I should use. Feel on my skin. Um, so this automatically does feel very exfoliating. So if you're looking for something that's like subtle little beads in there but you can't really feel it and it just feels soft that's not this this is actually going to play your skin i actually really like this because i use a microderm abrasion like scrub probably once a week just to clear my skin up which is almost essentially feels the same as this and the one i use is by derma e which is a little bit more expensive so i like that these feel the same they genuinely do feel same quality um, a lot of people I saw in the comments were saying that this was really rough and whatever. It is a rough scrub. It is a walnut scrub. It is supposed to be exfoliating and getting rid of your dead skin cells. You're not supposed to use this every day. So if you're thinking this is just like, oh, cute little clean and clear, got some little beads in a clear um, cleanser, that's not what it is. It really is exfoliating your skin. Um, I like it because I exfoliate at least once a week. And I think it feels good. It smells clean, smells fresh. Let's see how my skin feels after I wash it. All right, let's see. Um, okay, I'm actually not kidding. My forehead, I don't feel so much a difference right here. My forehead 100% does feel smoother. I don't know if that's just because it, I, you know, 
exfoliate it really well or I had any excess, but it genuinely, if I honestly, already, if I were to recommend one product from here, I would recommend the Walnut Scrub. I really, really like the way my skin feels. Like, I'm not kidding. I wish you guys could feel it. I'm not saying this because I am a Kylie stan. Like, I have a lot of skincare and, um... I'm actually genuinely impressed by this. I really like this walnut scrub. I like the walnut scrub way more than I like the foaming face wash. Um, my skin feels really smooth. No joke. If my skin actually really looks like Kylie's after this, I'm being stoked. Okay, so now that I know that I really like the walnut scrub, that was my favorite. Now what I'm going to be using is... Oh, I can't get it out. I can't get anything out of here because I have fake nails on so I can't like grip it. Ugh. Now what I'm going to be using is the Vanilla Milk Toner. So this is an alcohol-free toner. After cleansing the skin with the foaming face wash, squeeze a small amount onto the cotton pad and sweep across the skin. So, I have a cotton pad. Oh, did you see that? It just literally shot out. All right, so, actually I want to smell it before I do it because I want to... Oh, that does smell really, really good. I just got it all over my nose. It smells really good. It smells very vanilla, which I like. Not too overwhelming, but it does smell like vanilla. Um, okay, so I'm gonna do some. I don't know if you guys can even see that. On the cotton pad. I always close it and then, okay. Let's see. I will be honest, I'm not exactly sure what toners do. I have multiple of them. I'm putting more. Probably should put more on a new compound, but I'm not. Um, I'm not really sure what they do, but I do have a lot of them. Um, this one does feel really light, and sometimes when I use toners, where I have pimples, I don't know if you guys have ever felt that, where I have pimples, it kind of stings when I go over it, which I low-key find satisfying. I don't know if that means, like, if I'm thinking in my head that means it's working, but for some reason, I like when toners do that, and this one does it, and I think that's because it's alcohol-free. I also will say, um, on this entire cotton pad, I'm going to show you guys up close. This is it up close. On this entire cotton pad, this is as much makeup that came off of my skin. So that does mean that the foaming face wash and the walnut scrub really did get in there. Um, because my cleanser that I use to just take my makeup off in general, it takes it off, but... The other scrubs have to do the work as well. So um, this is the only excess makeup I have, which is really exciting because that means I'm not gonna go to sleep with anything gross. So that is the toner. Now what I am debating about is I am debating about what products I wanna go in with first. I'm getting ratchet now and I am just popping all the products out <laughs> from the back because I can't, I can't get them out. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. Hey. And I, oh. Oh my god, I'm gonna break it. Okay, wait, I thought these were like cheap. This was glass, I think. So the last three products that I do have are the face moisturizer and the vitamin C serum and the eye cream. So I think what you're supposed to do is either go from like heaviest to lightest um, product. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with the face moisturizer first. Um, I'm not really sure how many pumps of this I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to do, oh, okay, well, one pump is about that much. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that much. So I'm going to go in with two just in case. So we're going to rub this together. Smell it. It smells clean. Um, it is a little thick. I will say it is a thick moisturizer. It's not a thin um, moisturizer, but it feels good. It definitely feels um, thick like lotion. You know, if you're used to... Um, say like the Origins Ginseng um, moisturizer, it's thicker than that. That's really thin consistency. Just to give you guys a little bit of comparison, it's almost like the Kiehl's uh, moisturizer. But it does feel good. It feels soft on my skin. I would say it's a little thick, but that's okay. Um, now I'm going to go in with the eye cream. So this is like a little... Why are there two things here? Like what... 
Oh my God, what is that? This actually wasn't supposed to pop out. I'm gonna put that back in. So now we have the eye cream, which looks like this. I'm gonna give you guys a close up so you guys can see, but the eye cream has this little slanted point on it. So I can actually probably just lay this on my eyelid or underneath my eye. I'm gonna actually, hold on, let me make sure it's coming out. Okay, yeah, it's right there. So I'm gonna gently put this underneath my eyes, like so. It's yellow, I kinda wanna feel it with my finger. Um, it feels really good. It feels almost like the avocado eye cream from Kiehl's. And it is also a thick consistency, which I actually like thicker consistencies for my under eye. I like thinner moisturizer. Um, but I will say I like the eye cream because I like the um, consistency of it. I think one thing I would do is keep this eye cream in the fridge because this would actually, with this applicator, I really, really love this applicator. I would keep this eye cream in the fridge because I can imagine myself, oh, I put way too much on this eye. Oh, I put way too much. Let me, let me put some over here. Um, but I can imagine this being cool. Um on my skin and it really feeling amazing which I would like because of the applicator having this cool applicator would be so nice um I like the eye cream and I like the facial the face moisturizer I will say right now I like the eye cream more than I like the moisturizer because this is a little thicker for my liking but I also do have a lot of moisturizers that are like this um so I'm not gonna say it's bad it is just thick it really it just depends on what you like now I'm going to go in with the serum. So this is the vitamin C serum. Um, I'm feeling actually, I'm feeling a little bit of heat underneath my eyes. I don't know why. I don't know if there's something in this. Um, maybe, oh, it might be this formula contains the blend of caffeine, green tea. It genuinely might be caffeine in this that is making it um, hot. It is not burning me. It's not burning me. If it was burning me, I'd be washing my face right now. It just feels like hot, if that makes sense. It just feels a little warm. But um, I don't know if that's just my skin. Comment down below if you guys have tried the Kylie Skincare and that's normal for you. It's nothing I'm alarmed about, honestly. So I'm experiencing a problem with this. I'm gonna show you guys. This is the bottle. I'll show you guys when I close it. This is the bottle, and when you twist it open, you're supposed to get a serum applicator, like a pump, but for some reason, the top of the applicator is stuck. You can see it's stuck in the lid, so I'm going to have to... Oh, I can't. It's like so slippery. Okay, hold on. How do I get it out then? Should I grab it from... I don't know, I'm gonna get like a, here, let me grab this cotton. Oh, oh my God, did I break it? No, 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 go back in, go back in. Okay, no, I didn't break it, I need to put that back in. I don't know how to get the applicator out now because it's jammed up there. I think this is because I dropped the serum, you guys heard me earlier. Hey. Oh my God, I'm gonna break it. I feel like even if I dropped it, it shouldn't have gotten like already stuck up there though. Like, oh my gosh, this is a mess, guys. I keep having to just put this little nozzle back in and I literally can't get it out like for it, but I guess I'm just gonna have to use my finger for this. So, um, I'm gonna put it on my finger. <laughs> Just from using the nozzle, it's not focused. Okay, that's the serum. That's the amount that I'm using. Um, let's just use it like this. Um, I will say I like um, the texture this is giving my skin, but I do wish it was a little bit thinner. I genuinely do like the feeling of it, um, but I wish it was thinner because when I think of a serum, I think of, how, how do I describe it? Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong thing. When I think of a serum, I almost think of oil or really, really thin. So I have this one from Glam Glow that is a super serum. And I'm gonna show you guys the consistency of this. When I think of a serum, I think of it like this. I'm gonna show you guys, look at it, okay? It's like runny, 
thin consistency of a serum. This is what I think of. Most of my serums are like this. It literally is like almost liquid, but just enough to where it like melts into the skin, kinda. So that's what I was thinking that this serum was going to be. It's not, it's not like that. It is thicker. Um, and I can't, I can't get the lid. I don't wanna break it because it's like, I literally spent my money on it sorry my lighting changed so much it got really dark throughout this video um but yeah this was my review and first impressions of using the skyly the skyly what the kylie skincare line so i uh i will give my final thoughts my final thoughts are that my skin feels really really soft genuinely my skin feels really soft i think that the reasoning is the Walnut scrub, amazing, obsessed, in love. And I also think it has to do with the moisturizer. I will say anything that happened with eye cream underneath my eyes, the heat, whatever, that's gone, it subsided in like 15 seconds. I think it honestly is the caffeine that's in this. I love these two the most. I also really love the toner. I think the toner is really awesome, especially because it's alcohol free. I'm realizing now the difference in this one compared to my other ones is because it does have alcohol in the other ones and this one doesn't, so it is really soft. I will say if you guys are interested in buying, the things that you could probably live without are the face wash even though it is extremely soft and really foamy I think that you could honestly do one or the other everyone has a good face wash that they like if you're gonna pick one I would say the walnut scrub um, I would definitely recommend that and then I would also recommend the face moisturizer um, the serum I will say I'm not a huge fan of and that's not just because um, the nozzle doesn't work uh, it's not that it doesn't work it's that I dropped it. I'm really sure why it really did that in the first place where it's already stuck up there. Um, but I will say I could live without the serum just because it's as thick as the moisturizer is. And so I feel like it's essentially doing the same thing. If this was a little bit thinner like I showed you in the other serum that I have by Glam Glow, um, then I'd be more about it, I feel like, because I feel like I'm adding so much onto my skin already with the eye cream and the moisturizer. Adding another thick layer is too much, so adding a thin one would be way better. Um, but overall, I'm not disappointed at all, and I really love these products. I think that it was worth my money, uh, which is shocking to say because I know that her makeup is more expensive, and I'm not really sure if it is worth um, as much as she makes it to be with the skincare, I will say, is so affordable for what good quality it really is. Like it genuinely is great quality. Love these products. Um, I'm not sponsored, so I'm giving you guys how I really feel here. And like I said, all of these items are different for different skin types. I have combination, actually. I went to a dermatologist and they told me I have combination skin. So I feel like it works great for my skin, but everyone is different. I'm also not a dermatologist, so like feel how you wanna feel, but your girl is just telling you, I have so much skincare, literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of different things for skincare, and so that's why I felt like reviewing this. I hope you guys liked this video. If you guys did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. You guys can also subscribe because it would mean so much to me if you guys stuck around and stayed on my channel. I would love to talk to you guys. Comment in the comments down below if you guys have Kylie Skin, if you guys want to try it, if you guys you know, liked any of the products that you already tried, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to have a conversation with you guys. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter because like I said, I post every Wednesday and Friday on this channel, but I post every other day on my other social media. So thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.